Good day YouTubers and thank you for tuning in to the Dice Toy Review and yes I'm only going to be reviewing just one for that product and once again I'm in this sort of spectrum where the prices are pretty much jumping up and cocking up to a very much more expensive price. Now that seems very very strange considering this trend so far for May 2024 has been the expense of flip flap products reaching up to basically £33 or £33.50 which is just dead white absurdly expensive but in the meantime I'm going to go ahead and review some toys right now. And yes since it's a beautiful and bright gorgeous day outside I might show you the scenery later on right over my backyard garden or even in the front yard of such if I have some time here now uh, this is the Fluffy Origami Buddhist Wild Collection Juvenile and First Winter Black Headed Goal Mixed Diet 12 Pack it looks fairly nice we've got some Juvenile Black Headed Goals but also some First Winter Black Headed Goals the back of the packaging looks like that it's fairly weird that Flip Up product uh, artworks and whatnot are actually starting to become a lot much more blander than usual which is very very unusual I don't know why Maybe it's probably because just to contend with the whites and stuff. I don't know. Maybe that's just there, just to spare a bit of time and stuff. There you go. We've got a seagull just eating a piece of beef burger, I think. And there's another seagull flying from the white corner here, I guess. And I guess all of these are just first winter black-headed ghouls. Remember I'm pronouncing it in the British way, so that people won't confuse with the word girls. Here they come. You have boys and girls. <laughs> or life boys and girls. How funny is that for a pronunciation, hey? And we've got another one of these, which look very, very strange. They almost look like onion rings, but they're all being squared up. That's very strange. That looks very, very nice. You can make it into like a little paper chain thingy. But let's take a look at the other things that we've got in this toy view. Um, we've got two beef burger type things. They almost look like cookies with blood stains or blood scratches created by some weird werewolf, I don't know. And there's the back of it, none of it from the back side, but they are beef burgers. Next these are what you call them like, I don't know what they are, are these minnows? Uh, I know it's a fish, but they're no, they're no minnows, maybe they are minnows. Please correct me if I'm wrong, I'm not really a big fish expert, because I don't really know that much in fish species, maybe I do. Uh, it's the internet that's telling me. Anyways, we've got some black-headed girls. Uh, these three here are very similar to the ones I reviewed uh, yesterday, which all of them show a very similar plumage display of having chocolate brown heads, but also having signs of a peachy-looking uh, detailing thing right over at their necks and their bellies I think and there's the other side they all look pretty much brown and whatnot they all look fairly nice somehow with their black tail ends looks pretty good doesn't it and then um, there's a bit of detailing over here maybe it isn't maybe I forgot to add a bit of brown I'll be right back okay I've just daubed a bit of brown on it and I think it's a very nice reversible change but we've also got those first winter black headed girls noticing that the beak is a little bit ochre yellowish brownish in color I think and if I brighten the screen up a bit in contrast without um, ruining things up, and if I grab the other one, you can definitely see that the beak colour is a bit different, although there's a bit of sloppiness on the end here. I'll grab another one, which looks fairly much A-OK, -okay, I think. They look fairly, fairly nice. One thing I can see is that they don't have any black, no wait, brown bands right on top of their eyes, which is very much unusual somehow. But nevertheless, they are what they're meant to be like. This one's a bit too biggish, but nevertheless, it looks quite nice. I love the head and stuff like that. It looks quite good, isn't it? Yeah, I think it actually is. And of course, here's you can apply some onion rings to your seagull and make it look like as if just eating something. Maybe what a greedy little blighter, eh? It really is greedy. You can definitely clip those. Of course, you can clip them as like a little accessory, as you've, I've, I've seen it many, many times. Very compatible with water, as they are very much aquatic critters. Although the seagulls are very semi-aquatic. Yep, looks fairly, fairly nice. Pretty good indeed. To me, I love the black tail ends. They all look fairly, fairly nice. Hopefully, they're not all over in the place in terms of how things are being made. But hey, it's somehow one of the best uh, toy products I've made so far. Uh, in 2024, well, not really yet, because, hey, I've still got a lot of months to catch up, 
at any given time. But anyway, so I'm just going to put these back to where they belong. And I might show you a bit of scenery, just to finish off the video. Oh yeah. The scenery outside, right over in my bedroom, is just gorgeous. You can definitely see why it's that. We have high pressure, pretty much plunging in from the southwest. So we are getting quite warm conditions, but not all conditions are going to be as warm, but also dry. But we may also have a an odd chance of a shower. Probably a thunderstorm, I guess, but I think the high pressure is going to dominate through Wednesday and Thursday, two of the warmest days that we might see during 2024, and it's just chronically amazing. I mean, look at those clouds. It looks like something out of a wallpaper from Toy Story, uh, the first Toy Story, I think. I think I'm comparing things to how awesome it is as a way of my mental health. It is just amazing. We've got a girl, we've got a child right down right over the video here so I'm not gonna film it for a long time so being very careful of the YouTube algorithm and how sensitive they are to children being filmed on YouTube videos I'm very wary about that and just as a bit much more in the way of scenery somehow it looks fairly awesome look how the trees have been developing and of course yes we are in May so I forgot to really wipe the windows from the other side because there's been a lot of bird poop activity here, eh? But hey, looking at the bright side, man, with that sunshine shining around like so, it is just somehow stunning to pretty much look at it in a very beautiful and very glamorous way. I mean, looking at those trees during springtime, you can definitely see why they're so green. Look at all this kaleidoscope of green. It looks like you're in a complete jungle or a rainforest. In the tropics, as I can definitely put up this way. And, you know, that's how I can really compare it. Something that looks very similar to other things of light. You know, deciduous trees all turning green with... I mean, look at this. There's a pigeon right over here. Can you see it? As I'm circling around here, right? In the middle. Okay, if I zoom in, there is a pigeon right over here. And, of course, it's, it's just so stunning and gorgeous. It's beautiful. I mean, blow me out. There's a crow here. Wow, I can really imagine what I can talk in a way to get rid of something bad out of my mental health issues of light of course and all oh my crockies you can definitely tell how gorgeous the trees are during springtime they are amazing and as we go up towards summer they're gonna grow big big and big bigger and bigger and bigger is what I can actually say hey eh? somehow but hey you know I think I really do compare spring and summer you know I think as we get towards late spring and early summer and throughout the rest of summer it actually feels like you're in another hot country it feels so amazing you know when the trees start growing bigger and taller leaves it's like you're in the midst of a tropical jungle or a rainforest and i think that tree there i think it's a sycamore maple going by the things i'm just seeing here if i zoom in I'm pretty sure that's sycamore. I think we've got some cooking in the background now, eh? because I'm about to have some dinner later on. But anyways, it looks so awesome. I mean, look at this scenery, man. And there's a bit of a dandelion pollen thingy coming out from it somehow. It's like coming out from those dandelion pollen clock things. Anyways, it looks so awesome. Mind you, I can really compare it to Malaysia, Thailand, or Indonesia, or Singapore, going by the looks of that. Uh, tropical feeling with the sunshine outside. It's like I'm in a rainforest. It's beautiful. It's like a wonderful paradise. Well, maybe somewhere as nearby as the Mediterranean, like Spain, France, and even more so Italy, or Portugal in that sense. You know, anywhere sunny is as, just as gorgeous as what the UK has to offer during the midst of spring and summertime. It really does feel like a very tropical paradise. Well, not really, of course. As always, if you really enjoyed this very interesting toy view, please give this video a like, subscribe for more for fat toy views in the future, and as always, thanks so much for watching, bye for now, and watch that pigeon feed on some very awesome greens. Bye now, and go ahead and eat your greens. I dare you.